I was doing some uh, recording for the new album and uh, uh, Force Damage, forcedamage.com if you want to check that out. And this little loop I was playing with uh, the new filter prototype uh, AO4. This is a, a real one actually, it's not a prototype. Um, I've got a pretty simple monosynth type patch going on right now. I've got a square wave going in here, I've got a sawtooth in there, and a sub pulse wave going in there uh, into the AIO2 uh, mixer. The mixer's going into the audio input of the uh, AIO4 OTA VCF. It's uh, based off the MS20 VCF, uh, designed and adapted by Charlie of uh, Sagitronics. Uh, it's got low pass and high pass mode, same as uh, so that it can basically be either side of the two MS20 filters. If you wanted a true, or a truer, I should say, MS20 emulation, you would put another one next to it, put one in low pass mode, the other in high pass mode, and have a blast. Uh, I've got the AIO3 receiving gates and um, sending the uh, envelope out to both the filter and to a VCA. Uh, that's about all that's going on, really. Uh, right now I have it in its more mellower mode, um, which I like. There's a switch on the back, we'll get into that for a little bit, but I figured I would just kind of show you what I was messing around with uh, for a little bit, get, get some sounds going. One thing I like about the soft mode is it's almost like profity, um, and there's uh, less signal drop. We'll get into the uh, things of OTA filter design uh, until you get the resonance to get uh, squirrelier. But it's, it's got almost like a Juno -y or, or profity sound in this mode. Uh, this uh, CV1 input is actually an attenuverter. So at center, there's no CV in, and as you go right to full, that's full CV in, in this case from the envelope. And as you go the other way, that's negative CV in, which is really nice uh, since you can put in a high pass mode. A lot of times you'll want that envelope to drop the cutoff lower, not higher uh, from your envelope. Um, there's a sweep of that. Go ahead and lower the frequency so we can see what that sounds like. you put into the OTA circuit, the bigger the volume drop you're going to have. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, you heard me flip the switch on the back. So originally, actually, there was no plan to put a switch at all. It was just going to be one design, and then I was like, oh, people are going to want options built it one way or the other, depending if they wanted a, uh, a, a wild filter or a less wild filter, and then uh, I was like, oh, I'll put a switch on it so that you could switch it. And then I was like, I know some people are going to want to put this on the front. That's no problem. It's actually really easy to do. So this is the uh, this is the uh, front panel PCB. So this will fit uh, when you build it uh, or have it built by me uh, or someone else. It will fit uh, kind of like that on the back. And oh, look, there's a hole. So what you do is just take the switch, instead of putting it on the back, soldered in, you put it into, uh, you just wire it up through the front panel, put it here, uh, drill a panel, uh, drill a hole directly in between there, in the center, uh, and then you just mount your switch to the front panel, and that will allow you to switch on the front panel right there between uh, crazy mode and um, smoother mode on the fly. Um, so that's, uh, that's the whole story behind the switch. It started as something that wasn't going to be an option and then it grew into something that was definitely going to be an option and then um, something that I made very easy to be a moddable option um, so you can kind of do it either way anyway uh, I've been having a ton of fun with this filter it's, uh, it's done really good in some uh, in some shootouts I've been doing against uh, traditional designs so I'm pretty excited about it I'm going to play with this some more <laughs> and uh, happy building. <laughs>